androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. They're conducting raids across the city. and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective machines have become a real danger for American society. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, 
the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people. People who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me.
It's a long story. Now that you know she's one of us, Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. The only thing we asked for was freedom. They don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. 
What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? You keep complaining. What have you done exactly, Josh? At least I fought for us. At least if I die, I die free. You saw what they did to us back there. It doesn't matter what we do. We either fight for our freedom or we die in silence. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. We are going to dig in here. We'll lay low, and when the time comes, we'll resume the fight. We can't hide in Jericho forever. We need to stop the slaughter now, otherwise we're next. As long as we're alive, we do have a chance to change things. Marcus is right. There's nothing we can do for now. Is this what we dreamed of? Humans can't be reasoned with. They're violent, hateful, they're stupid. What do they expect us to do? Shut up and obey? They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. I had a dream. And this is what you get for dreaming. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Get ready. Next few hours will be crucial. I'll go join the others.
I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Then you'll have to shoot. Because I have no intention of letting you take me alive. Yes, you can shoot me. But it won't change anything. Someone else will just take my place. You see, our people are waking up. And nothing can stop us now. We are thousands. And you are alone. You kill me, you are not walking out of here alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're coming with me. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Our cause is righteous, and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back, or I'll shoot. That's enough! Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program, or a living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Nice try. But I'm no deviant.
quick. We've got to get out of here. short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I need to think. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. 
Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be alright. We're almost there. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. There was a veritable groundswell of violence in Detroit this morning. Several hundred androids took to the streets, destroying everything in their path and threatening the lives of any humans they encountered. The police intervened quickly to quell the rioting. But they met with the extreme violence of the machines, which seemed to be determined to massacre humans. 
There can be no doubt that the authorities will be pitiless in their response to this wave of violence. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel, which consisted of specialized android models. The situation is extremely alarming. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and then we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police and they, they slaughtered them. Those things are monsters. Monsters, I tell you. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. 
It's as simple as that. You wanted a mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. Is 
this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it and to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I I'm glad I met you. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back or I'll shoot. Do you never have any doubts? You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide.
They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. They don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I need to think. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. The violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you.
Why did it all the end of this? We go to a venture day. The country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Are you north? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. Detroit is under curfew. There are soldiers everywhere looking for androids. You're safe here. You should wait a while before you leave the city. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of us used to work for the State Department. He has electronic passports that he can easily modify. I'll have him give you one. I heard about what happened today. A massacre. And Marcus being killed. He gave hope to our people. We'll all miss him. I was there when they killed him. I would have given my life to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Thanks for your help. You said you were with a little girl? You know humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill all of us. We soaked the thing and we torched it. I mean, to think this fucker was watching over my kids? They, they rushed the police in there. Slaughter. Those Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever.
We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our people are shutting down one after another, and there's nothing we can do for them. President Warren says we're a threat to national security, and we need to be exterminated. Marcus would know what to do. He's the one that got us into this mess. He gave his life for our cause. He put us all into danger by provoking humans. How much longer before they find Jericho now? Uh, at least he fought for us. That's enough! Marcus is gone. It's up to us now to decide the future of our people. We have to fight them. There's no other way. If you choose a confrontation with humans, we are all going to die. Gather up all the guns you can find. We leave at dawn. I'm on it. You're making a mistake, North. You will not buy our freedom with blood. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now, deal with North. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. You're one of us. You can't betray your own kind. You're coming with me! Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? I've heard about you. The famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you're looking for. Stay back, or I'll shoot. That's enough! You're not one of them. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. Shut up! You're coming with me! You never had any doubts. You never had any doubts. I gave you an order. Don't make me shoot you. You never had any doubts. Never behaved irrationally as if there's something inside you. Something stronger than your program. You're wasting your time. I know what I am. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not deviant, if that's what you want to know. You're one of us. Join our cause. Join your people. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant.
we're short on blue blood and bio components. Our people are shutting down one after another, and there's nothing we can do for them. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and that we need to be eliminated. Marcus would know what to do. He's the one that got us into this mess. He gave his life for our cause. He provoked the humans. How much longer before they find Jericho now? Marcus is dead, North. Now it's up to us to decide the future for our people. We have to fight them. It's the only way. If you choose a confrontation with humans, we are all going to die. Gather up all the guns you can find. We'll leave at dawn. This is a mistake, North. You won't buy our freedom with blood. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now, deal with North. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. You're one of us. You can't betray your own kind. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? I've heard about you. The famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you're looking for. Stay back, or I'll shoot. You're not one of them. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. Shut up! You're coming with me! You never had any doubts. Never behaved irrationally as if there's something inside you. Something stronger than your program. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not deviant, if that's what you want to know. You're one of us. Join our cause. Join your people. It's time to decide. to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit! Quick, we've got to get out of here. Delta dancing on your position. 
You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for you. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Is there something wrong? Come on. Let's not stay here. short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. And they don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. Look what you brought us to. You talk about freedom, but you kept failing us. You can no longer lead the revolution. You're not the one we've been waiting for. I'm gonna take over and save what can still be saved. I'm with North. I'm with North. Right. If that's what you want, then I'll leave. My fate's not what's important. Save our people. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now, deal with North. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive.
But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. You're one of us. You can't betray your own kind. Don't force me to neutralize you. You're Connor, aren't you? I've heard about you. The famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you're looking for. Stay back, or I'll shoot. You're not one of them. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. Shut up! You're coming with me! You never had any doubts. Never behaved irrationally as if there's something inside you. Something stronger than your program. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not deviant, if that's what you want to know. You're one of us. Join our cause. Join your people. It's time to decide. Nice try, but I'm no deviant. You wanted a mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you.
Is there something wrong? We're short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. The only thing we asked for was freedom. They don't even want to hear that. So now they punish us for who we are. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. Look what you brought us to. You talk about freedom, but you kept failing us. You can no longer lead the revolution. You're not the one we've been waiting for. I'm gonna take over and save what can still be saved. I'm with North. I'm with North. Right. If that's what you want, then I'll leave. My fate's not what's important. Save our people. <laughs>